Right, so remove the seat, lift off the, the uh, covers and remove the three bolts and one nut. Tilt the seat back and remove the, the cable which is plugged underneath just by pushing the pin in and Once we've moved the seat, you need to grind off the four rivets, which will allow you to remove these, these, these feet. Once we've removed the chair, you need to cut the carpet approximately 40 mil and put a slit in both sides, and then lift the plate up back in, back in first, forward, down, and then slide it back. Lift the Underlay, put the feet down on either, either corner. And bolt into place lightly. you've done that then you can put the bolts and the screw the nut back in place and tighten up once you've uh, secured your base you need to you need to place the seat and line it up with the front holes and this is where you should you you'd be helpful if you had a spare pair of hands once you've lined the holes up twist the seat and it allow you to put your plate and your bolts through and secure. Once secure, spin the seat to its location, front and forward location, slide, and then tilt, tilt the back, and then it'll allow you to rotate the seat so you can get to the back, back bolts, locate holes, and you will then forward, fold it round to, to show the holes. Place your plate in and screw in from the bottom. I find this easier using an Allen key. And this is the fiddly, this is this job is fiddly as you locate the holes and line the plate up. and do the same the other side. And once in place, secure. Right. Once your chair has been installed, just remember to refit the cable by passing it through the hole provided in the center of the base and, in, and plugging in.